Acme Arrow. Let's get you some updates from Matt and Eric, and then talk technical with Chris, AKA Goose. All right, here at Sun Fun 2023 at the Acme booth, and we've got some new news as always, because there's always something fun and exciting coming out of Acme. So what's, what's new for this year, Matt? For the, I don't know about this year, but for the past four years. So, okay. so we're proud to announce that our STC is completed for our Black Ops and our Stinger and uh, hopefully in the next two weeks, our titanium gear and chrome molly will soon follow. So what does that STC open up the market for you guys for, for different airframes? Yeah, so it takes it from a, an experimental market. Now it's opened up to all the certified airplanes in that AML, PA-18s, PA-12s, PA-11s. Uh, the Stinger's going to fit all of those models. Husky's got a whole AML list of a lot of different aircraft, certified aircraft that these parts will now fit. So you have more of the uh, Alaska boys buying stuff uh, than just builders like me. Buying them legally now. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, good. And I see uh, some other big news that you've been a part of, something that's in the, the background here. Yeah, so it was a really cool opportunity for us to partner with Cub Crafters and Mike Patey and, and build the suspension for the Red Bull airplane over in Dubai. Um, it really, as you can tell, uh, it uh, we did a side load test uh, in, in real time, uh, so with our titanium gear, and uh, it was really cool to be a part of that, that, uh, that venture for Red Bull and Cub Crafters. I bet that was really tough to keep that under wraps for so long. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's still not a reality that they pulled it off, and and uh, the winds and the location, and everybody thinks they can do it, you know. But it, it was a really, really major feat that they were able to pull off. Yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, there's, there's several videos. Obviously, Mike Patey has done a video on the details of that, but he, he really stuck it. It really planted like an aircraft carrier landing. Yeah, it was uh, it was really cool, and and that was over a lot, a lot of practice, and uh, and uh, we had a lot of. They called us like the day before, and was like, let what do we do about this and the pressures and this and that. So I think we were overthinking it there at the end, and then they just really uh, they did it and made it happen. It was awesome. So tell me what else is going on up in North Carolina, your shop. You acquired an airport, basically, and, and been building your shop there. So what's new since last I've been up there? I'll let Eric tell you about our new uh, Tailwheel Transition School. All right. So, yeah, we um, started a – it's a transition training or a training course for uh, Tailwheel Transitions. Uh, we don't want to so much take a pilot from A to Z, but really focus in and hone in on Tailwheel training skills. That's kind of what we're, what we're shooting for. Are you going to be doing the training? No, we have Ross. He's fantastic, <laughs> wherever he is. Yeah, he's we, awesome. We, Ross is our chief flight instructor. We have a couple more guys that, that help us. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> we want to help people transition from the new ownership of uh, if they buy a new tailwheel aircraft, whatever brand that be, whether it's Cub Crafters or Husky or Aviot or whatever, we want to help them transition from their new purchase acquisition in being comfortable into that. And or we have also aircraft there that you can train in uh, that belong to us that, that you can get comfortable in as well. So what does that typically look like for somebody who doesn't have any tailwheel time at all or very little to spend how many hours to get really kind of proficient or at least confident in that? So I would say that's a, uh, it's totally up to them. That's a proficiency thing. It's not a, hey, you, you can come here and in 10 hours you'd be done with your tailwheel course uh, and you'll have your endorsement. I would say that uh, that we can take as, as as much time as we need to. Fortunately, at our space, it's uh, we have our own airports. You don't have to worry about traffic. You don't have to worry about making your radio calls as much. Um, you can really focus in and, and, and hone in on the skills that you need to fly tailwheel airplanes. So, um, so I, I, I wouldn't... I definitely wouldn't go into it with an expectation of I can be done in 10 hours or 15 hours. I would go into it with the expectation of when I'm done, I'm going to be awesome. Good, good. And this is still, we're still calling it the Acme Aerodrome? It is. It's Acme Aerodrome. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're, Ross is working on getting it changed uh, right now. So uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, uh, it will get that changed over officially. And uh, so it's uh, uh, National Tailwheel Academy is the name of it at Acme Aerodrome. And currently, if, if you look on the sectionals, it's it's the airport is what six, six NC one, six NC one, yeah, just, okay. just north of Charlotte, north of Lake Norman, six NC one. Yeah, and it's a it's a beautiful place, uh, right in kind of a, a valley slash ridge. It's kind of a unique situation. Right between two mountains, yeah, right in between two little mountains. Yeah, yeah so it's a beautiful spot to go uh, practice some backcountry stuff and do some real backcountry. Uh, you can go fishing at our lake. That's true. Yeah, There's yeah. a lake there as well. Yeah. yeah. So where else are you guys going to be uh, throughout the year if somebody wanted to come talk shop and put their hands on the products you make? Eric, Eric, so up next we'll be in Alaska for the Airman Show. 
Um, shortly after that, we'll be in Wayne, Nebraska for the uh, for the May Day stall competition, uh, stall drag. If Colin, um, if Colin gets us more shirts, we're 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 shirt deficient. Man, we'll see. We gotta get Colin. Yeah. To, we'll uh, at least you're not shirtless. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> um, obviously, we'll be at Oshkosh. Um, so our calendar is kind of full going forward. Um, then Arkansas. after, yeah, Arkansas. Um, so you know, but you'll absolutely be able to find us pretty much anywhere. <laughs> Good, good, and you're easy to find. Your your logo stands out well in the booth, and uh, you can see you from a distance. So, uh, and you usually have some cool aircraft surrounding you. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. All right. Well, thanks for the updates. And uh, as Eric said, you can see him around the country here in the next few months. And I have to make it up to Alaska one of these days myself, just to mix and mingle with with that with that crowd. This year should be the year. Next up is Goose, where we get technical with their suspension systems. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net. The Aviators Clinic at AviatorsClinic.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at flyfoxtrot95.com Edge Performance at edgeperformance.no Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. All right, so I want to dive a little bit uh, deeper into the details of what we're we we're talking before about uh, suspension systems, and they've come up with something, kind of a, a an add-on bolt-on, pretty easy for taking yeah. the, the spring out of uh, your landing. And, and what is this behind us? So we've got a new gear set up for Cessnas. Uh, you know, innovation is what we've always loved to do. So through STC processes, the time it's took. It was exciting to get back on a new project and bring something new to the market. So, you know, we've got friends in, in stall competitions and we've got friends in backcountry and, and guys working in Alaska. And, and this Cessna platform, you know, is it's so versatile across the board of what you want to do with it. And now with the advent of backcountry stuff and the excitement of things, it's been a whole lot more fun to bring a new flat platform in along and play with Cubs. You know, so we wanted to have a nice backcountry setup that still was removable if you want to do cross-country stuff and you didn't want to give up airspeed so it, what we wanted to concentrate on is everybody loves the comfort and the the versatility of spring gear but nobody likes bouncing back up off the ground and you know we've always talked about how we want to perform so this we concentrated on the rebound control of the spring gear there's no spring inside of it there's no additional spring forces we're just controlling the spring so of the gear so that's what we got it's a it's a nice aero package it's you know, there's there's some benefits there for all across the board of what you're trying to get into. And if you haven't seen or talked to uh, Acme, this is uh, Chris, aka Goose, <laughs> who actually builds the suspension systems and tests them and so forth it's in nice the shop. To get out of the shop and come back and see people. You yeah, know, I, I, yeah, I get stuck in the fluorescent lights too much. So yeah, it's it's great to come out and actually see what we're working on at the shop in real world applications and and talk to everybody and see all the different applications that we're going on. And as we grow more markets, it's real fun to be involved with. I want to bring you a little bit closer to talk shop here. So uh, my concern with, with this is this is an aluminum spring gear, which is what a lot of us have on even our home builds and experimentals, right? And that is the entire landing gear. It has the spring. It doesn't have any, any true dampening. But then you add this, which their normal suspension, I was thinking, and that's going to be a very rigid, but Chris Goose is saying no. So what's unique about this suspension compared to your typical ones? Right, so the construction of it, this is a, the extension upright is just an extension. Our main shock absorber is in this area. Uh, so it's the same technology we're using in our certified and experimental products where we're a nitrogen gas charge shock. Uh, unlike the Cub stuff, we've got a spring inside of this, but for this, it's just a shock absorber. So there's no additional spring rate with this system. So that is a major difference. You've removed the spring, so you're all about dampening just with the piston and gas and fluid. Yep, so we've got a divider piston, so it's nitrogen charged, so we're separating the oil and the nitrogen, and then a performance series of our shocks. Uh, that we carry across other lines too. So same construction materials that we've got on all of our experimental and certified stuff between our great anodizing and our stainless steel construction. So uh, rust preventative stuff is all throughout. 
Um, you know, our construction of our clamshells, we've tried to be lightweight and aluminum where we are. You know, I've got one here where we can kind of show how we've, we've pocketed and we've got as much weight out of it as we can. So we've went aluminum where we needed lightweight. We've went steel where we need the structural integrity and the strength. Uh, so, you know, we've really put thought into let's save as much as we can and be as strong as we can. So a lot of the cubs that we see are an X brace, a cross brace, and they're connected here in the middle. This, and I'll do a shot here of it, is kind of offset, and you've got a gap. Explain the engineering behind the gap in here and how the the mechanics of the spring gear work. Yeah, we made our own big stupid cabane V here. You know, so we just attaching, uh, so the right shock absorber attaches up to the airframe of the left leg, so we're just using that as our, our pivot. So we're mimicking a lot of cub geometry. Um, so, you know, we tried to get everything up and, and out of the way as much as we can. Uh, I think it's the best setup because honestly, we're the only setup. You know, I think it's, we love to innovate and we like to have new things and, and uh, we like to be the one that brings new stuff to the market. And I think this is gonna be a game changer. You know, everybody's got a, a different mission profile, but uh, you know, this is gonna be there for everybody. Yeah, I've seen several uh, guys uh, in the experimental side and, and several airframes that have this type of gear. And that is always the problem where they do a really good landing, but because there is no dampening, they, they're sprung right back into the air again, or you get the wheel wobble going on. Sure. And this, this would take that out for many different airframes. You know, I, it's funny in talking to people, and we love hearing different feedback. And, and you hear everybody wants to close the door behind them. You know, say, hey, I had to learn to, to fly on this stuff in old suspension, but, you know, nobody's ever down there at, uh, you know, the GPS guys and saying, where's your paper maps? You know, I, you know turn the dash off. We learn how to fly this thing. But, you know, we've talked to flight schools and we've talked to people of, you know, the barrier of entry of learning to fly and being safe. You know, it's, it's removable. We can be on and off, you know, so we can really control what we want to be in this platform. And I think there's opportunities of however you want to apply it, but, but just bringing the safety to the aviation world is what we're trying to do. You know, there's performance. We all have fun install competitions, but there's a whole lot more people that are making a living and affecting daily lives and safety being involved with that is what our really big aspect. This is the fun shows, but what we're really putting stuff on is working planes and people so they can get home safe. All right. Well, thanks for catching us up with Acme. Thank you.